In this tutorial, I'm going to take you through using naive Gaussian elimination to solve a system of equation with four variables. Welcome to my channel. Please, if this is the first time you are visiting this channel, kindly subscribe and watch this video to the end so you understand every part of the video. I have four equations here and we have to find the values of the unknowns. Whenever you have a system of equations to solve, the first step is to write the augmented matrix. So we quickly draw the augmented matrix. Augmented matrix simply means you are writing the coefficients of the unknowns as a matrix. For the row one, we are going to take the coefficients and write it row wise for our augmented matrix. So the first equation, I'll have 2x1 plus x1, x2. So I'll write 2 at the first entry. This is x2. The coefficient is 1. So I'll write 1 and it follows negative 1, 2. That is for this and this. I'll come to the second equation and it will represent the second row. I'll have 4, 5, negative 6. 4, 5, negative 3, then 6. Then the third one, I'll have negative 2, 5, negative 2, 6. Then the last equation, I'll have 4, 1, 1, that is 11, negative 4, then 8. Then I'll bring my dash. Then I'll bring my right hand side. That is 5, 9, 4, 2. Right. This is my augmented matrix, and I am to find the upper triangular matrix from this. So, using the naive Gaussian elimination, the principle is we have to use forward forward elimination. So, when you say forward elimination, we have to eliminate some of the entries so that we get an upper triangular matrix so this is how an upper triangular matrix will look like so meaning our four negative two four here should turn to zero five and eleven should turn to zero then this two also turn to zero let's see how we are going to turn these entries into zero i already draw my entries here my augmented matrix back here now have two one negative one two i'll have four five negative three six i'll have negative two five negative two six i'll have four eleven negative four eight then five nine four two so this is the augmented matrix now let's convert this into an upper triangular matrix by forward elimination to do that, as I said earlier, we have to eliminate the 4, eliminate the negative 2. So let's eliminate the 4 first. So to eliminate the 4, this 4, what you are going to do is we have to multiply this row by a certain constant called the multiplier. Multiplier. So this multiplier is what we use to multiply the entries of row 1. So let me make it n times row 1. Then we will subtract it from our second row to eliminate the 4. The multiplier upon multiplying these two should make should turn it into 4. So that when you subtract it from the second row, you get 0. So now let's see our multiplier. So in this case, you realize that our multiplier, you have 2, 1, negative 1, 2. So there is 2 here. You want to eliminate this. The rule is, you take this side that we want to eliminate, divided by the entry here. So our multiplier m is simply equal to 4 out of 2, right? Then we use that to multiply these entries. So 4 out of 2 will give us what? 2. So meaning you are going to multiply 2 by this whole row, then you subtract it from what? The second row. So the algorithm is 
root 2 minus twice root 1. What are you going to get? So, you simply do this using a calculator. So, follow closely. The first row is 2, 1, negative 1, 2. Now, the second row, here is 5. The second row here, I will multiply 2. So, the algorithm is R2 minus what? 2 R1, where R2 is row 2, R1 is row 1. So, I will multiply 2 by row 1, and that will give me 4. Minus 4 will give me 0. 5 minus 2 by 1 is going to give me 3. Negative 3 minus 2 times so it's R1. So, negative 3 minus, minus negative 2. And that is going to give me negative 1. So, let me write it. It's negative 3 minus minus 2 times negative 1, right? So this side is going to give me negative 2. So to be negative 3 plus 2, that's why I got negative 1 here. For this side, it's 6 minus 2 times 2. So 6 minus 2 times 2 is what? 2. We do same for this side. You must plot here by 2. 2 by 5 is 10. I subtract it from 9 and get negative 1. Then the rest continue. Negative 2, 5, negative 2, 6, 4. Then this side, 4, 11, negative 4, 8, then 2. So we are done with our first elimination. We move to the second term here. So we have to eliminate this as well, the negative 2 as well. So here, the multiplier, as I said, we multiply the multiplier. Sorry. So we multiply our multiplier. That is negative 2 over what 2. As I said, our multiplier is always the one we want to eliminate over the one we multiply, the row which you multiply, the first entry. So it's just this over this. That is our multiplier. And that is giving us negative 1. So we just write negative 1 times this row. And hence, the algorithm is going to be row 3 minus negative 1 by this row. So minus negative 1 by row 1, right? And this is exactly equal to row 3. Then, so minus negative 1 times row 1. This is what I'm saying. So let's see how you are going to do this. So if I redraw my augmented matrix, the first entry 2, 1, negative 1, 2. I'll have this place to be equal to 5. Then the second part is 0, 3, negative 1, 2. This is negative 1. Now, for this side, to get my new R3, I'm only going to do what? Subtract the R3 here by negative 1, multiplying this whole row. So now, negative 2 minus so this side you just put negative 2 here minus negative 1 times so it's 2 right times 2 so this negative 2 plus 2 giving me 0 likewise this side 5 minus minus 1 that is 6 this side will give me negative 2 so negative 2 here minus minus so this is it. Let me write it here. Negative 2 minus our negative 1 multiplying the entry in negative 1. So see, this and this will give me positive 1. So negative 2 minus 1 is negative 3. So this is going to give me negative 3. Then when I come to this side, 6 minus, so 6 minus negative 1 times this one that is negative 1 times 2 so 6 minus minus 2 and that will give me 8 right so i have 8 here then from this side i'll multiply negative 1 by 5 and that is equal to negative 5 right then i will deduct it from this and that will give me 6 exactly so let's see sorry I have, it is 4 here, it's not 6, so 
my third row if i multiply the negative one by this five it's negative five so four minus minus five so it should be nine then i will come to the elimination of the last row so this is two so i still move on with my elimination so i have been able to eliminate this side this side so i'm left with this side for the first column so to do the last side as usual our multiplier is simply m is equal to 4 over 2 right this over this so i'm going to multiply this whole row so 4 over 2 by this whole row you know 4 over 2 is the same as 2 then i'll subtract it from my last row so the algorithm is row 4 minus 2 multiplying row 1. Hence our new system of um, our new augmented matrix becomes 2, 1, negative 1, 2, 5. This is 0, 3, negative 1, 2, negative 1, 0, 6, negative 3, 8, 9. Then this side, remember. I'm multiplying 2 by this minus this, I'll get 0. 2 by 1 is 2. When I subtract, I'll get 9. 2 by negative 1 is negative 2. When I subtract, I'll get negative 4 plus 2. That is negative 2. Then 2 by this is 4 minus 8. I'll get 4. Then 2 by 5 is 10. 10. Then 2 minus 10. I'm going to get negative 8 right that is r4 2 minus 2 times 5 that is 10 negative 8 so at this point i move i'm done with my elimination for the first column we have to make this a uh, an upper triangular matrix so it is it should be this way hence i have to eliminate this side so i'm done with this i'm now going to tackle the inner matrix so to eliminate this and this, let's see how we do that. So let me quickly write it here. So you realize that in this column, to eliminate six, I'll tackle this. So my new multiplier is going to be six on three, right? So I'll multiply six on three. Six on th my M is six on three, and that is equal to two. So I multiply this whole row by what? 2. So row 2 by 2 by this whole row. Then after I'll that is from this row. Right. So now my algorithm is equal to my R3 minus 2 times R2. Is that not it? So I'll draw my new matrix, augmented matrix. And the entries is going to be. 2, 1, like 1, 2, 5, 0, 0, 0, 3, like 1, 2, like 1. So this one I'm doing the elimination. So at this point, I'll get 2 times 3 is 6. I'll deduct, I'll get 0, right? 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. When I subtract, it will be positive, so negative 1. 2 times 2 is 4. When I subtract, I'll get 4. 2 times negative 2 is negative 2. When I subtract, I'll get 11. Then I come down here. So let me do this one straight away. The multiplier for this is also going to be what? 9 on 3. Is that not it? So my multiplier for the last elimination will be 9 on 3. That is 3. So meaning that I have to multiply my... I'll have to multiply this row here, this row by what's 3, then I'll subtract it from the last row. So the algorithm is going to be my row 4 minus 3 times row 2 nicely. So my row 4, 9 here minus 3 times row 2, 3 times 3 is 9, when I subtract it's 0, then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. 2 minus minus 3, I'll get positive 1. 3 times 2 is 6. Minus here, I'll get negative 2. Then 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. When I subtract, 
I'm going to get negative 8 minus 3 multiplying what my entry here, which is negative 1. So this is negative 8 plus 3, giving me negative 5, right? So at this point, we move forward to eliminating our, we want to get an upper triangular matrix that is uh, this way. So something like this. Like this. So meaning I'm left with eliminating the one here, then we are almost done. So to eliminate the one, now I'm done with this as well. So I'm to tackle this inner matrix. So this inner matrix is simple. I'll only have to find my multiplier, which is 1 over negative 1, right? So my multiplier, I'll just multiply this whole row by negative 1. So negative 1 by this row, then algorithm is R4 minus negative 1 times row 3. Is that not it? So let me redraw. When I redraw, I'm getting 2, 1, neg 1, 2. 0, 3, neg 1, 2, 0, 0, negative 1, 4, this is here, here is 5, neg 1, 11, then at this point I have 0, 0, so negative 1 by this is 1, when I subtract I'll get 0 by my algorithm, then 4 by negative 1 is negative 4, 2 minus minus 4 to be positive, so I'll get 2, check it well, R4 is negative 2 minus negative 1 times 4. Negative 4 plus, so to be 4 plus negative 2, giving me positive 2. Likewise, 11 times negative 1 is negative 11. Negative 5 minus minus 11 will be negative 5 plus 11, and that should give me 6. So this is the end of our forward elimination. So we have been able to eliminate the entries to get an upper triangular matrix and at this point we can expand our augmented matrix in the form 2 1 negative 1 2 0 0 0 3 negative 1 2 0 negative 1 4 0 0 2 then multiplying x1 x2 x3 x4 right should be equal to what i have here 5 like 1 11 then 6 right so our goal is to find the values of x1 x2 x3 then x4 so at this point my i'll multiply so i'll get from the bottom i'll get 2 x4 equals 6 so my x4 is simply equal to 6 on 2 which is 3 then I move up when I move up to my third row when the third row is multiplying this whole thing 0 multiply x1 0 0 x2 0 negative 1 by x3 I'll get negative x3 plus 4 x4 to be equal to 11 at this point I can make my substitution so that I'll get negative 3 plus 4 multiplying my x4 is 3 equals 11. So this is going to give me negative 3 plus 12 x4. Sorry, this is x3. So our negative x3 plus 12 is equal to 11. So like x3 is equal to, when I subtract, I get negative 1. So therefore x3 is equal to 1. Then I move to this side, the second row, you realize that I'll get 0 by x1 is 0. So I'll get 3x2 minus x3 plus 2x4 should be equal to negative 1. I know, I don't know x2, but I know x3 to be 1 plus, I know x4 to be 3. So at this point, 2 times 0 is 6, plus negative 1 is what, 5, and I'll send it here. So I'll get 3x2 to be equal to negative 1 minus 
5, right? That is negative 6. So x2 is obviously negative 6 on 3, which is what's negative 2. So now I have my x4 to be equal to 3, x3 to be equal to 1, x2 to be equal to negative 2. Then finally, x1. So from the x1, we are going to get 2x1, that is this whole row by this plus x2 minus x3 plus 2x4 is equal to 5. I don't know x1, but I know x2 to be equal to negative 2. I know x3 to be 1, and I know x4 to be 3 equals 5. This is 6, and this is negative 3. So when I subtract get 3, 2x1 plus 3 equals 5. So 5 minus 3 is 2. 2x1 is equal to 2. So my x1 is simply equal to 1. So these are the solution for my system of equations. So I have my x1 to be equal to 1, x2 to be equal to negative 2, x3 to be equal to 1, x4 to be equal to 3. So this is the end of our video and thank you for joining. Please like, subscribe and share. Hope seeing the next tutorial as I'm going to take you through the LU decomposition.